All right, everyone, welcome back to Another Miami. So today, um, I was hesitant. There's two Carson Coffees that I wanted to go to, but they're the complete polar opposite uh, sides. One had, had me going up the five, the other one had me going down the five. So I think I'm still deciding, as I'm saying. Uh, I think we like wagons. I love wagons. So we're gonna go to Tustin. Uh, it's closer to my pad. And we're gonna go check out some awesome wagons. Um, that's the theme for today and uh, the flight legacy um, to uh, get the coverage of that. They're celebrating back to school night. Um, so they're gonna be using cars that uh, people take, you know, their kids to school too. So it should be pretty fun. Oh, no, yes. Anyways, trying to get killed here with the dogs. But uh, yeah, should be pretty fun time. and. Hopefully we uh we'll hit some cool cars. All right, guys, made it here to test and flight legacy. That's the name of the um like I would say shopping center. Um, they have like food and all that other good stuff, and then they have like legal offices and just business. It's pretty cool. Uh, Jackie's running like a champ. Uh, we're here pretty early, and you guys know usually I park pretty far of the venue um so this time i'm kind of parked inside so yeah we're gonna let a few more cars roll by and then uh, i'm gonna see if i can find some coffee because i know they sell coffee here but i've never purchased any so hey guys so i couldn't find a place to get coffee but um yeah i'll be uh going over some of these pretty clean cars um as you guys know i love wagons i love long roofs and it's cool to see like uh, different mix and models and how they interpret uh, each of their cars. For instance, the Panorama, uh, the wagon is definitely one of the best looking wagons and it's still very, very sporty. Um, so to see them rolled by and then all the BMW, the, the E36, E36 generation, it's pretty nice to see um, how they came out. So pretty dope, beautiful 991. Uh, Porsche rolling by, it's always nice to uh, to admire. Um, you know, I said it off camera, but I'll say it here. Maybe not the smartest idea to put anybody on the road here. It's just asking for trouble, but eh, it's not my event, so that's just me. But here we are. Pretty, uh, pretty beautiful wagon that came by when I was walking, the E36 that I mentioned. I mean, wow supreme clean and the red interior too so Dan it's Greg Alakin buddy what's up dude so clean huh so clean there's two of them here yeah uh, they rolled back together no? yeah my buddy Eric like a silver one. Oh, is that right they literally did everything from trans motor mounts I mean everything on this are F3s oh shoot M3 everything, everything. oh wow so they obviously didn't make the M3 wagon here or right. anywhere. So they made their own. So they just bought a donor wagon and they literally replaced it with full factory what? parts. All the way down to the diff, everything. Sheesh. Wow. Pass by. Oh my god, that Audi. Beautiful wagon. Jesus. Jesus. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh my gosh. Yep, that's it. I mean, is it gonna air out? Please don't air out. Don't make me feel bad about my life. <laughs> he is gonna air out. Let's turn out the wheels. Okay, no air. Okay. It's so beautiful. I don't know. I didn't. I just didn't see the, the spot. I think everyone was standing in the spot. Really. Wow. Look at the brakes. Look at the calipers. <laughs> Look at my hand. Look at those calipers. Wow. Holy sh. Let me get off their way. Oh man. Wow. 
Speaking of, wow, look at this beautiful wagon. Oh, yes, I made the right decision. So, let me start over here. Big shout out to Danny, uh, to Dan, sorry, uh, for introducing me to his buddies. Uh, they both drive the E36 wagons. Um, M3 swap, everything, suspension, engine, uh, exhaust system, interior. I mean, it amazing, amazing amount of work that they did. Oh, this wagon is beautiful. Yeah, I definitely made it. So the, the other decision was between this meet and uh, like a Honda meet. And we've we've gone to the Honda meet a couple times and it's always fun to go. But uh, as you guys know, this, this place, they do themes. And can last year, last year, last month was Americana. So I think uh, American muscle. And this, uh, and two months ago was uh, Japanese. And this month is long roof so anything that you go and drop off the kids in and so you guys have to follow if you guys are bmw heads this guy holy macaroni m3 swap everything uh from suspension exhaust uh from what i was told this is the first dude to uh have done it um now yes there's i'm sure there's somebody out there in the world who's like no i know my buddy from like 10 years ago that did it okay as far as we know this is the first guy that did it here in southern cali um and he did the interior and everything love the red man it's it's immaculate quads everything the white and the gold it, it just it works the fitment on this look at that fitment look at that let's catch some amazing audi wagons look at this oh my god jesus yes Yes. Why am I so excited about wagons over? My God, this is insane. Oh man, right? Hey, your your BMWs are gonna get jealous. You gotta be careful, buddy. You gotta be careful. <laughs> Try not to. <laughs> I met this gentleman when I was getting some some donuts and coffee and we just started chatting He was like, what should I get? I don't know man Whatever you get is gonna be a wrong decision. So just do it. And he's like And then we just started chatting. He has a whole bunch of BMWs. So he's drooling over the Audis like I am So I was messing with him like hey your BMWs are getting gonna get jealous, you know V8 by turbo I don't know 600 700 horsepower then was telling me I mean, shoot. Yeah. You guys know how much I love wagons and this is definitely not adding to the, this is, this is adding to the desire of having one. Um, as you guys know, I have the E30 now. Uh, the E30 wagon is probably my, my favorite wagon. I feel comfortable saying that. Uh, after that, you got some like the Cadillacs, uh, you got some like the E36 wagon, uh, obviously E46 wagon. Um, some Honda wagons are pretty cool, like the EF wagon. I would definitely would, wouldn't mind having that. Man, these things look so aggressive. Holy crap! I don't ever pay attention to uh, to uh, Mercedes Benz as much. This is our buddy Dan. He uh, he also owns a 240, and uh, he recently. Got some beautiful RG wheels at then. He had to do uh, the stud conversion because um, obviously these Mercedes Benz do not come with the traditional stud. His buddy Patrick, I think that's his name, he does steering wheels, uh, carbon fiber, and hopefully, yep, his company is Carbon Carbon Tastic. So check it out. So the idea is he can get your OEM. Uh, steering wheel and then he can do carbon and you can you have the choice between adding leather or anything like that um, I had heard of his company before. He's also the owner of this amazing E46 uh, wagon uh, M3 everything uh, He also went as far as Why bodying the rear so it matches the rear M3 spec bumper and so he also did the flare up to the window to the window to the door I'm sorry, so that way it flows very nicely insane amount of work everything interior has been replaced so again his steering wheel he does it himself i would definitely recommend check it out carbon tastic super recommend that 
his buddy with the white wagon came all the way from San Diego. I don't know where Patrick's from, but uh, I have a feeling I'm gonna be hitting them up uh, to see if they, they'd be willing to uh, get an interview. But uh, big shout out to Dan. Dan was the one who uh, kind of connected me to them. And uh, it's nice to see your car out here, man. Congratulations on the on the marriage. And uh, yeah, can't wait to see what you do with this car. I was teasing him. I'm like, when are you gonna actually lower it? But I know this car is already really low. And uh, I don't know, it, it looks great, but yeah, it, the, the closer the film in, the more rubbing, and it just becomes a, an issue. Very cool, clean car. It's cool to, to see like, oh, her buddy made it here. Oh, I didn't even see him till now. We interviewed this amazing Volvo wagon a while back. I haven't seen him. I'll look for him. Um, switches up the, the wheels. His Instagram is 71 El Camino. Why do I remember his Instagram, but I don't remember his name. That's a problem. Man. Definitely one of the best wagons out there. Um, some of the cool details that I always have always admire about the Mercedes Benz is the accessories that they add. Obviously, the window looking out, and then the luggage and all that good stuff. Wow, very, very cool uh, details that they go ahead and add. Very nice. Whoa, wagon, man. Yep, so cool. So so rad. It's just so the the the, the feminine on it. It's wonderful. E36. Uh, I, I forget the violet. Is it violet? M3 violet color. But probably probably my favorite color on this generation. Manual. Oh. Wow. Very clean. Very, very clean. Wow. Compare the laptops on the passenger seat. So he's working with the tune or something. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I had not seen this. Oh, oh my gosh. What in the world is this? No way. Ha! Huh. Sorry, I'm drooling all over it. What the heck is so clean? Oh my gosh. Look at that fitment. Like how it rubs against the the material he used to wet the tires. The fitment is perfect. Relax, it's not a show car. It is a show car. <gasps> What in the world, man? Who owns this thing? Oh my god. Wow. God. Okay. Well, yeah. Oh, shoot, dude. And manual. I mean, oh, I am like, damn. Gosh, man, that thing is so pretty. Ah, the 30 wagon. Like I told you guys, 30 wagons up there, man. Um, I, you know, once it gets to wagons, I wouldn't mind. But, anyways, um, El Camino Super Sport, beautiful car. Um, yeah, I believe it. A lot of people got dropped off on um, to school on these cars. What car did you get dropped off uh, while you were going to school? Uh, I can start with me. We didn't. We didn't have a car. Play the sad violin music. Uh, in Mexico City, we would walk. So we would walk, and then uh, we would take the the public transportation to um, to elementary. Once I came to the states, uh, we ended up um, walking. <laughs> uh, very rare when it would rain, uh, or step that wouldn't um, wouldn't work. So he would take us on his work truck, because his regular truck was. You know, hit and miss. It was a C, uh, Cheyenne C10, if I'm not mistaken, and um, it just it did it didn't have any. Um, it wasn't the most reliable truck, but whenever it was running, which you know actually it was most of the time, but um, it was just easy for our stepdad to just take us on on the work truck because it was newer. Um, 
but when it was working that was the truck that we would get around and it's a single cab so we would be in the back uh he had a camper obviously that's not something that we recommend but that's yeah that was our, our thing wherever we went it's like yeah, watch out you know make, make sure that there's no cops around so that you can get out of the truck and then watch <laughs> careful there's no cops around so you can get back into the truck so that was a routine and uh yeah we did that so so i, I don't know um i guess uh, i i didn't get a car till i was 19 18 19 so that's when i was already in community college so at that point i started taking back my honda accord my 95 to um to community college and so yeah but what car did you end up getting drop off you know did you get one of those woodies you know the the the, the doors are made of wood and <laughs> they were they were having issues with uh with um i am blanking out on the freaking name those wood eaters and you guys are always making fun of me because you're like you meant to say this like yes but in this mo in the moment I, I completely forget beautiful 46 wagon not mold i actually yeah they deal with mold as well um why am i blanking out homie ho right here it's beautiful wagon static on top of that the feminine is perfect on it man long roofers i tell you man i remember when he first bought the car he's like yeah i bought a wagon uh mercedes-benz and um bought it all stock and i was like okay what are you gonna do to it he's like wheels and lower it they don't need much and sure enough he was right wheels and lowering it they don't need much a couple porsches and lambos parking off to the side over there uh, I guess you could technically drop off your kids in those cars too. Wow, super cool. I don't. I hardly ever see that generation of Audi wagons, which is this one. So maybe I just don't look for them. But uh, I said in in the video uh, that went live yesterday, uh, Japanese classic car show. Every time I see like a Volvo or an Audi, I think of. Uh, Scott from the Hoonigans because he's like huge into those type of cars so man look at this wow it's just insane this wagon <laughs> I don't know what I yeah this is I know they're they're very very pricey and I mean look at those calipers look at those rotors this guy went up and upgraded wheels the fitment on the car is absolutely perfect. Love it. Yeah, life is good, man. I wouldn't mind getting dropped off in that that wagon to school. Uh, speaking of another wagons, I absolutely love is the Panor Panorama Panoramas. Gosh, look at this. That's why I keep hearing everybody saying, "Look at this! Look at this!" Oh, look at that. I don't know it's weird i feel like the vibe today is actually a little bit more happy more uppity because everybody's like oh yeah like like you don't expect a wagon to bring that much smiles to people's faces for the everyday person but for for you and i who are really into wagons this is like a like this is we we know this has been there you know we know that the the wagons it's something cool about them just because they're not supposed to be sporty they're not supposed to be cool they're not supposed to be exciting they're supposed to be boring they're supposed to be grocery getters and and you know it's just nothing <laughs> and then subaru comes up with this and it's like okay there's something to it range rovers very cool yeah it's definitely a family car very cool g bodies if i'm mistaken very nice very very nice oh my gosh look at this wow this is beautiful the color the color is like a pinkish red interior just flows so nicely oh look at that wagon <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'm cracking myself up. I'm like, yeah, I, I knew I was like, nah, I want to see wagons. And I, I yeah, I'm, I'm so glad I, I came here because if, if I would have seen the coverage from people, 
and I would have seen all these wagons I would have been upset that I didn't come and make it out myself uh, we saw these beautiful 992 GT last time it's absolutely killer love the green on that let me make my way through here Corvettes. Uh, I'm not. I've never been a big, huge fan of Corvettes. But if there was a Corvette generation that I really uh, enjoyed, uh, I think this one's one of them. Uh, Go Patriots! Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll continue with the coverage. Uh, again, Dan was uh, passing by, so we said goodbye. He is out. He's like, I gotta catch some football. I am the same exact way. I don't know what we did without football for you know these past eight months but yeah football's back and you guys know I'm a huge Kansas City Chiefs fan so hopefully we have a great season and um, yeah we're uh, we're finishing up with the coverage um, it's a pretty good turnout uh, I think that there's usually more cars but this time there was uh, a lot of cars for the specific theme which is the wagons which is super rad to see to be honest with you guys so uh, definitely definitely a great vibe we saw this Mach 1 last time here very nice VW hey we didn't see that many uh, VW wagons I know they're out there but we didn't get to see them this car is really nice really really bright I'm surprised that I, I'm, I am to assume that's a factory color very bright I love it it's extremely humid um, I was telling Dan we're morphing into Florida man I don't know what's going on uh, I was watching a says garage <laughs> he's watching his car and uh, he took out the the 36 and his his windshield is just like it's wet and he's like yeah that car was parked and i just took it out i gotta i'm gonna wash it but it's it's this humid that it's it's getting the the windshield and the the windows wet i was like what <laughs> like i didn't know there was that level of humidity but there is so yes this is still not as humid as some other places but it, it's a lot for us i'm not gonna lie so we saw this gentleman with the yellow nsx at yesterday's uh japanese classic uh classic honda what am i saying japanese classic car show um very nice very 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 nice very very cool These wagons, one of my favorite wagon generations. On so there, if there's something that BMW does right, is wagons. Um, they may not do their cooling right, because all cars have cooling issues, but they do their wagons right. Their bodies, uh, their design is, is supreme, and nothing but love on those cars. Absolutely killer. <laughs> Let me finish it up with these Porsches, because you guys know how much I love them, and we'll finish it up. Wow, 997 GT3, and then this one's a 991, I'm assuming. Bills, wheels, yep, 991. Wow. It's insane. Absolutely, what a great turnout, what a great show. Didn't disappoint, I am so glad I, I made it to this one. So, White and gold, just iconic color combo. Look at that wheel and tires. Perfect, beefy tire setup. Yep, yeah, this is it, it's beautiful. Very, very nice. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful AMG cars. Well, 
Wow. Classy and fast were a car, these ones would be it. Beautiful. Love this green. Wow. So let me know which car was your favorite. Uh, for me, I think there was a lot of favorites. Um, I think just because of how cool it looks, the E46 white wagon, completely M3, is definitely up there. I also love the E30 wagon, uh, E30 wagon that was on bags. Um, just too many, man. Too many cool cars. So either one, either one is super cool to be able to witness this so yeah we'll catch you guys in the next one i hope you guys enjoyed the coverage and uh yeah let me know which card was your favorite